Hello from Gardening at Duenza in Ireland and this is a very quick video just to show you some orchids I have in bud. The light isn't very good today. It's very, um, well the weather has taken a downturn. It's very cold and very wet. But I wanted to start off with this Nepenthes picture. Uh, it's Miranda, one I've had for a long time and it's just opened this fine, fine picture, which we can't see because of the bad light, but there you go. But what I'm quite excited about is that I have another two and a half pictures coming, which is quite a good result. Now, these plants, the Nepenthes, haven't had adequate watering the last while, I do confess, hands up to that, but still they seem to be doing rather well. But on to the orchids and the real reason for this update and the first thing I want to show you is this Baptonista orchid which has the most gorgeous flower spike coming here. It's like a necklace, a beaded necklace, don't you think? Gorgeous, but it doesn't have just one, it has two. So I can't wait for these to open hopefully very soon. Isn't that pretty? It's on a mount, so it takes quite a bit of watering, but uh, so it goes. Moving over, ah, oh, this fella here just refuses to flower. Lots and lots of roots. Epidendrum, hmm, can't remember the name. Epidendrum, I'll put the name in the details of the video as usual. Growing and growing and growing, but no, no flower spike yet. The next thing I want to show you is my Iwanagara apple blossom, which Anita, thank you Anita, sent to me just before Christmas last year. And it's now in full flower with one, two, three, four flowers. Not enormous, but very, very pretty. But the thing I like most about this lovely Cattleya is the leaf shape, the leaf habit. Look at that. It looks exactly like Worsleya, well, not exactly like, but very similar to the bulb Worsleya, the blue bulb Worsleya that a lot of people covet very much. Very attractive habit. The next thing I want to show you is the Brutonia that I bought recently, and I'm just going to lift that down so we can see it a bit better. It's on a mount, so it needs regular watering, and if you look closely here, you can see I haven't done a terribly good job with that because the root tips aren't green. However, I seem to be doing well enough with it because if we look in this leaf axle here, you will see a spike. Yes, this is um, Brutonia negrolensis, that's it, in spike. Here, on a windowsill, in rainy wet Ireland so that's quite an achievement. Now I bought this plant in March just gone, February just gone so it, I don't have a, a terribly long time but still. And right beside it we have the Rodrigasia that I bought a while ago now, don't ask me when, I don't remember. Covered in roots, look at it, loads and loads of roots. And unlike the Brutonia, where the root tips are dark, these ones are most definitely green. And this only gets watered once a week. Look, it might as well be on a mount for all of these free roots just hanging around there. Yet the, um, yeah, they're doing quite well. I have about 66% humidity here over the sink where this plant lives and it seems to be adequate for it. Now you will also have seen that Roger Frampton has one of these plants which I sent him and he's mentioned in various ones of his updates. He of course got a smaller, <laughs> smaller plant than mine. It was a, when I received it from Orchids and More there, were more, there was one, more than one plant in the pot so the smaller one went off to England to Roger. And he's keeping his in quite a different environment. It's getting a lot more moisture and humidity. Yet, in mine, with mine, the breaking news is that I have a flower spike. 
And only two more things I want to show you in this very mini update, one of which is this Cattleya, which I repotted not very long ago into an orchid pot, a Cattleya pot with holes in. And as I'm going to put a link to that to that video up above, it was a video about repotting Cattleyas, the traditional way whereby the plant is firm in the pot. And um, I staked it to make it upright. But uh, as you can see, well, doing very well, roots coming out all over the place. So that's definitely a result. Now how I'm actually going to repot this without breaking the pot or the roots remains to be seen. But uh, well, that's a problem for another day. New growth coming there. So that's, that's done really well. And the very last thing I want to show you is this little beauty here. And this, as some of you may recall, is Dimorphorcus, a beautiful plant that Orchid Dude BCN John in Barcelona sent to me. And thank you so much, John. And unfortunately, when this plant arrived, it was a very bad moment for me. So I made a video about it, but I think the video doesn't really... Well, it wasn't a very good video. Um... But I am very excited about this plant and I haven't potted it on since I got it but what I do notice is that see there's a, a root there the root tip has branched and if I just remove some of the medium here you can see that the roots are doing well it's it's growing good roots which is always the first step to success isn't it and this wonderful plant which several of us are growing because John was kind enough to send one to me one to Danny and one to Roger Frampton um, and he got one himself so several of us are growing this they're only seedlings but eventually this plant this wonderful I suppose Van der Lyons plant will have flowers of two completely different types and colours on the one stem. So isn't that just cool? And I think I'm going to finish up this video by giving you a glimpse of Momolani the Gypsy, a beautiful Cattleya I flowered for the first time this year. And what is absolutely amazing about this Cattleya, which I featured in my last in flower video, which I'll link to up there, is, well, there are a couple of things that are absolutely amazing about this plant. It opened quite white and the flower has kind of matured into quite a pink colour. The scent is amazing, absolutely amazing. But the flower has last, lasted for such a terribly long time, over a month, perhaps six weeks, really a long time. Every day I look at it and I think, oh, surely it's going to start you know, showing, showing signs that it's fading today because it's just gone on and on. But still, it looks good. Now, I don't know if it's still going to be here for my Orchids in Bloom in June video, but, well, we'll see. So, it's absolutely gorgeous and highly, well, I recommend it highly anyway. I'm not going to tell people to buy things, <laughs> but um, I like it. And the Iwanagara Apple Blossom, which I also love. Thank you very much, Anita. Okay, that's all for me. Thanks very much for watching. Check back again for lots more plant and orchid videos. Bye now.